Afrika Mashariki Tuwezeshe kuishi kwa amani Tutimize na malengo yetu Jumuiya yetu sote tunilinde Tuajibike Tukimarike Umoja wetu ni muzo yetu Idu mjumuiya yetu All guests invited, graduates, the few who are present, and our visitors, this graduation is basically virtual. You are seeing very few people here, not because there are not many. You will hear the number of graduates are so many, but because of the situation, this is what we have, the few we have here. To start this, this is a special ceremony. Most ceremonies start with prayer, but this one we have to constitute. So I wish to welcome the acting principal secretary to constitute this graduation. Sorry, it is the acting principal. By virtue of the authority entrusted by the Wildlife Conservation and Management Act 2013, I declare this assembly a congregation of the Kenya Wildlife Service Training Institute. I'll request the principal imam of Naivasha, Adan Ali, to open with a prayer. And thereafter, Mr. James Washira will also pray. Karibu. Emola. Usituadhibu kama tukisahau tukaate aliyomema au tukafanya yaliyo mabaya sisi ni waja wako wa dhaifu e mola wetu usititwike tusiyoyaweza usititwike tusiyoyaweza utusamehe na utukufirie na utulehemu wewe ndiye mlinzi wetu tusaidie juu ya wafisadi e mola wetu Tupe mema katika hii dunia na kesha akhira na utuepushe na adhabu ya motoni ya jahana. E mola, tunakutegemea na tunakuelekea kwa kowewe na marajeo yote ni kwa kowewe. E mola wetu, wajalia haa mahfala, wenye kufuzo siki ya leo. Ilimu mwalio ipata, iwe ni manufa kwa wawo, na tegemea kwa inti yetu. E mola tuhifazie wanyama wetu, na msitu wetu, msitu wetu, kutoka mana na mwazalimu, kwa niwewe ndiye uliwaumba haa wanyama, 
na vile vile ungeitandaza ardhi na kuweka mimea na kila kitu yake Allahumma inna na'udhu bika e Mola wetu tunajilinda kwa wewe min al-maradhi al-corona kutokana na ugonjwa wa corona wa msingi al-askar na maradhi zingine mabaya e Mola tuepushie e Mola ija al-hadha al-balada amina tujalie nchi yetu iwe na amani mutmainna yenye utulivu rakha ali raha wa fa'anna al-ghila wal bala utuondolee maradhi na aina yote ya ubaya e Mola wetu wajadie waliofika katika hafla hii watakaporudi katika mafamilia zao e Mola warejeshe katika salama wa sallallahu ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabi amin Father we thank you Lord for this event this day of God we are witnessing of Father the start of a journey of God for this graduate of God and Father we pray for Lord that you may continue to give them of our insight of God to lead them in everything that they do of God we pray oh Lord that you shall give them the understanding of Father that they, they shall be productive members of God of our society of God we also remember oh Father your parents your guardians of God those that have allowed them, O oh Father, to go along this journey of life, O oh God. We pray, Lord, for the blessings of God upon them, for the provisioning that comes from you. And Lord, may you continue to protect them and guide them in everything, O oh God. We pray for your protection upon our families too, upon everyone of us, wherever they are, O oh Father. May you continue to lead us and guide us in everything, O oh God. Our Lord, our Father, we thank you and we bless your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. It is worth noting that this graduation is live on YouTube. Madam Roslyn Onyuro, welcome us. Karibu. The representative of the cabinet secretary, the principal secretary, State Department of Wildlife, Professor Fred Segor, the acting chair, KWS Board of Trustees, Ms. Betty Maitoyo, Director General, KWS, Brigadier retired John Waweru, represented by Mr. Edwin Wanyonyi. Chairperson, Wildlife Research and Training Institute Board of Directors, Dr. Winnie Aero. Members of the Wildlife Research and Training Institute Board present. Director, Acting Director, Wildlife Research and Training Institute, Dr. Patrick Omondi. Principal, sorry. Former principals of KWSTI, our friends, KWSTI uh, family, parents, guardians, sponsors, good morning. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to this memorable occasion where we will be celebrating and recognizing the achievements of our trainees. I wish to extend a special welcome to the CS, Honorable Najib Balala, who I believe has joined us virtually, our Director General, Brigadier Retired John Waweru, the KWS family, our partners, external lecturers, friends, guardians, parents, and sponsors who may be watching us virtually. I extend our special greetings to you and a warm welcome to Kenya Wildlife Service Training Institute. Our chief guest, today is a great day in the history of KWSTI as we mark the 18th graduation ceremony. This graduation ceremony is unique. Happening during the unprecedented COVID-19 pandemic, which saw the closure of the Institute in March 2020. As we congregate to mark this occasion and make it happen, we take cognizance of the fact that the people for whom this ceremony was organized are not here physically, but the spirit and intent are legitimate. In the Institute's calendar, graduations are held just before the closure of the financial year. However, this was not possible due to the circumstances that the COVID-19 pandemic presented. As a result, the graduation, which should have been held in June 2020, was postponed to a later date. The day has finally come, and I wish to thank the KWS management, 
who found merit in our request to graduate students at this time of the year. I also thank the graduates who have been very patient. I know you kept hoping that things would go back to normal and that you would be able to reunite with your friends one more time to celebrate and, and bid them farewell in your styles. But this never came to be. A new normal has manifested, and we had no choice but to confer you with diplomas and certificates remotely in your best interest. When armed with your qualifications, you will be empowered to pursue the available job and entrepreneurial opportunities without further delay. Our chief guest, as we digest the creation and subsequent transition into the newly created Wildlife Research and Training Institute, we are enthusiastic and optimistic that it portends good. We will explore the opportunities the new outfit presents and optimize the rich pool of envisaged human and physical resources to increase and expand the scope of our training programs, boost trainee enrollment, and enhance our research capacities. About three months, the immediate principal, uh, Dr. Samuel Kasiki, retired, and as such, there was a change of guard. Today, as I stand here, trying to fit into the big shoes that he and other principals who are here once wore, I am greatly humbled. Being a product of this system, under the stewardship of uh, their, their leadership, I am for sure humbled. And I, I can go on and describe each and every one of them, but that's a story for another day. They have made me and, and us what we are today. Chief guests, Christy offers seven programs, namely Diploma in Environmental Management, Diploma in Wildlife Management, Diploma in Fisheries and Aquatic Sciences, uh, Diploma in Tourism and Hospitality Management, Certificate in Aquaculture, community, Certificate in Community Wildlife Management, and Certificate in Nature Interpretation and Tour Administration. We have a pool of 13 lecturers who are competent in their various disciplines and a trainee population of 938. That gives us a ratio of one lecturer to 72 students, which is way above the recommended teacher-student ratio. I am, however, happy to report that since 2014, we have seen an upsurge in the trainees' enrollment, courtesy of the placements by the Kenya Universities and Colleges Central Placement Service, and the two annual intakes uh, that we do. On the converse, the infrastructure has not had a commensurate expansion to cater for the increased demand. We are also facing a challenge with accessing loans uh, from the Higher Education Loans Board which would enable more students uh, to join and complete their studies in time. Of consolation, however, is the fact that the Director General, KWS, has taken a keen interest in the Institute, as exemplified in his personal visits and constant follow-ups of its activities. KWS management has supported us with resources and the goodwill necessary to run the programs. Recently, KWS TI was amongst the few stations that received a 62-seater bus uh, to be used uh, for field training. For this, we say a big thank you. Uh, our chief guest, we are confident that as we reopen our gates to our trainees to resume learning sooner than later, we will, get, we will continue getting the requisite support uh, to carry on. Our guest of honor, sir, in preparation for a blended system of learning, we have identified two platforms uh, to mount uh, our e-learning uh, programs. This has been tried and tested, and we are confident it will work. Uh, the lecturers have also been trained by our own internal IT staff, and we are set 
uh, to go. They say that when life gives you lemons, make lemonade out of it. We have capitalized on the COVID-19 pandemic to make e-learning, which we are launching today, a reality at KWSTI. As much as we are excited at the immense potential that e-learning has, we remain alive to the challenges that it may pose. And we are prepared to surmount them just like others have managed to do. Chief Guest, today we graduate 332 trainees in various uh, disciplines, uh, as I have uh, highlighted earlier on. The ratio of the graduates is uh, uh, 133 male uh, trainees uh, versus 199 female uh, trainees, giving us a ratio of 1 to 1.5. The trainees are drawn from six countries, namely Kenya, 319 of them, uh, the Republic of South Sudan, nine of them, they were not able to join us, uh, but uh, this has been courtesy of uh, Kesulo, the Kenya South Sudan uh, liaison office, uh, who sponsored them uh, to this training. Uh, from Tanzania, we have one uh, trainee. From Uganda, we have one trainee. From Cameroon, we have one trainee. And from Zambia, we have one trainee who is here with us. Uh, she desired to come, and we let her come to join us. This is a testament to the popularity and recognition of our training beyond the Kenyan borders. We are also graduating one KWS staff member, uh, currently based at LAMU. Our chief guest, last but not least, we thank the parents, guardians, and sponsors who have supported, who have supported the trainees this far. Their sacrifice was not in vain, and today, our dear graduates, you have put a smile on their faces. May your choices in life be guided by God's wisdom and all the virtues that would make your communities and the institutions in the country better. I wish you God's blessings as you slowly dissociate from Christie and begin new associations with others. Celebrate your achievement and make merry, but remain sober. Congratulations. It is now my pleasure to call upon the acting deputy principal, Mr. James Washira, to lead us in the presentation of diplomas and certificates to the graduates. Thank you. A total of 332 candidates satisfied the, the board of examiners for various awards during the academic year 2018-2019 and 2019-2020. Today we present 241 candidates for the award of diplomas and 91 candidates for the award of certificates. With your permission, sir, I will now call upon the various course coordinators to present their candidates for the award of the diploma and certificates. We'll start with the course coordinator for certificate programs, Mrs. Marion. First of all, NASA, during the academic year 2019-2020, the following nine candidates satisfied the Board of Examiners for the award of certificate in Aquaculture of Kenya Wildlife Service <laughs> Distinction, Chani Delphine Juambo, Japchilchu Diana, Matenge Samuel Dunju, Upper Credit, Kadidia Daisy, Maggie Daniel, Otuma Anthony, Oturi Mary Nyambura, Lower Credit, Almaro Jafan Mike, and Odara Agnes Nakanga. The guest of honor, sir, may I present the best three students to represent the class for the award of certificates in agriculture. Delphine Juambo Cheni. Diana Jeptilchil, Samuel Bunju Matenge. Having su successfully completed the training and satisfied the Board of Examiners during the academic year 2019 2020, 
by the Delegated Powers conferred under Section 26.5 of the Technical and Vocational Education and Training Defects Act 2013 and the powers granted under Section 51 and 52 of the Wildlife Conservation and Management Act 2013, I award you a certificate in aquaculture. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. The guest of honor, sir, during the academic year 2019-2020, the following 37 candidates satisfied the Board of Examiners for the award of a certificate in community wildlife management of Kenya Wildlife Service. Distinction, Titok Faith Kuyoni. Upper credit, Debet Gladys, Tama John Mark, Tara Hadija Adan, Irembu Joe Munene, Konkoro, Koronkoro Bile Aitet, Ichot Lucy Anuta, Akoha Larry Nyarotso, Bunyua Silas Musili, Udoga Rispa Wanjiro, Otiambo Ogonyo Ayuk, Otieno Aliwa Mike, Wafula Brenda Nekesa, Lower Credit, Ako Lavenda, Aoko Imakilai, At Ahmed Nur, Cherono Fei, Cherotich Debra, Cherotich Florida, Mifeche Simon, Cherubo Lucy, Ibelen Kenye Basie, Kinyua Sara, Kiplagat Caroline, Deso Rogol, Jospat, Buhia Masi, Mumba Renda, Uriuki Douglas, Utia Francis, Raymond Philip, Safari Johannes, Siwai Gerono, Anjiro Lilia Pass, Ajarak Dolik, Kadiet David, Safangwa James, and Yegon Alfred. Guest of honor, sir, may I present the best uh, three students to represent the class for their award for certificate in community wildlife. Faith Uyoni Tito, Dile Aitet Koro, Lucy Aluta Richard. Having successfully completed the training and satisfied the Board of Examiners during the academic year 2019-2020 by the delegated powers conferred under Section 26.5 of the Technical and Vocational Education and Training TFET Act 2013 and the powers granted under Section 1 and 2 of the Wildlife Conservation and Management Act 2013, I award you a certificate in Community Wildlife Management. Thank you, sir. The guest of honor, sir, during the academic year 2019-2020, the following 45 candidates satisfied the Board of Examiners for the award of a certificate in nature interpretation and tour administration of Kenya Wildlife Service Training Institute. Distinction, Gitao Bile Kamau, Kipnetich Shadrach, Ngai Mary Jerry, Jukuna Edwin Mugai, Wagitira Gladwell Odoni. Upper credit, Apio Cynthia, Chapkoril Vicky, Chipchil Caleb, Karaoke Grace, Achua Regina, Aina Orin, Uguero Jacqueline, Boturi Mary, Gogi Annette, Jerry Joy Karen, Ruto Nedi, and Gan James. Wandia Jane, Wanjiko Tom, Loa Reddit, Adiambo Wilma, Chebeth Masi, Jackie Constance, Chekoril Karen, Gilo Elizabeth, Ibe Eric, Waisamoy Mo Sylvia, Rikudu Achenga, Mangaria Damaris, Matenge Catherine, Ugwa Veronica, Ugo Geoffrey, Moravi Winfred, Musendi Jacqueline, Mwangi Bernard, Mwangi Romanas, Begwa Piriti, Dungo Irene, Guhi Anna, Okeo Wendy, 
Oluat Lenza, Oirimo Ashley, Pass, Ryuki Maskey, Alice Taban, Mabiel, Daniel, Daniel, Dungu, and Dungu Kare. Guest of honor, sir, may I present the best three students to represent the class for the award of Certificate in Nature, Interpretation and Tour Administration. Dile Kamau Getau. Edwin Wugai Jugona. Shadrach Kipnyatich. Having successfully completed the training and satisfied the Board of Examiners during the academic year 2019-2020 by the delegated powers conferred under Section 26.5 of the Technical and Vocational Education and Training Act 2013 and the powers granted under Section 51 and 52 of the Wildlife Conservation and Management Act 2013, I award you a certificate in nature, interpretation, and tour administration. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. The guest of honor, sir. During the academic year 2018-2019, the following 36 candidates satisfied the board of examiner for the award of diploma in fisheries and aquatic sciences of the Kenya Wildlife Service Training Institute. Distinction, Abdallah Salim Ali, Abogam Maslin Athiambo, Teriot Angela Chepnetich, Toba Ekai Bildat, Karani Teresia Wadai, Manyasi Lucas Bavu, Nyaga Steven Onyango, Wesonga Peter Nyogesa. Upper credits of Ag Kal, Hian Kelvin Baraka, Kiprono Shedrak, Kokonya Brian Walela, Malel Osman Bashir, Mukanya Brian Ogweno, Momanyi Mora Angela, Muroga Eric Itotia, Now El Barasa, Nugi Olivia Muthoni, Othiambo Jackson Omondi, Okong Kenneth Owiti, Omondi Swale Thamman, Ok Bechel Christine Sampio, Oron Kevin Shem, Lower Credit, Abdullah Ab Abdul Jabal Ahmed, Ag Samuel Owino, Boss Ben Vincent Kipkoril, Gitome Elizabeth Wangari, Kola Jackson, Mooja Masi Kenzegi, Matika Christine Maga, Nyabuti Penina Mora, Nyajui Tildat Jerry, Nyuta Yutkas Gidinchi, Oruko Bill Omonti, Oyora Walter Otewa, Sumarillian Mwari. Guest of honor, sir, may I present the best three students to represent the class for the award of diploma in fisheries and aquatic sciences. Position one, Peter Nyongesa Wesonga. Position two, Salim Hali Abdallah, Stephen Onyango Nyaga. Having successfully completed the training and satisfied the Board of Examiners during the academic year 2018-2019 by the delegated powers conferred under Section 26.5 of the Technical and Vocational Education and Training Act 2013 and the powers granted under Section 1 and 2 of the Wildlife Conservation and Management Act 2013 I award you a diploma in fisheries and aquatic sciences. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. During the academic year 2018-2019, the following 50 candidates satisfied the Board of Examiners for the award of diploma in environmental management of Kenya Wildlife Service Training Institute. 
Jepke Moi Masi, sorry, distinction, Jepke Moi Masi, Jepko Gay Phyllis, Patrick Amaswai, Patrick Kiptum, Mbugwa Grace Wangari, Munyithia Ndithia Peter, Mwangi Susan Muringi, Ndereva Joydrin Kanana, Nuagaba Leonidas, Wanjiru Claire Wangari, Warambo Mildred Awino. Upper credit, Aviambo Speciosa Masi, Agufwana Timothy Mukolwe, Gishia Jacinta Wanjiru, Ikeny Millicent Ngatuk, Ita Grace, Kihara Chris Ruigu, Kiru Priscilla Warigia, Kinya Naomi, Kiprono Charity Jeruto, Kiprotich Linford, Kipto Enoch, Lelesara Mpanari, Makoha Prudence Lishindu, Mogaka Kelly Kerubo, Mohamed Katra Abdi, Mumo Christine Mwende, Murithi Christine Nyawira, Mwakua Hana Awino, Mwaniki Michelle Wambui, Mwendwa Teresia Mumbe, Mwinga Martin Thoya, na Munje Nicholas Juma, Nganga Joan Virginia Wambui, Ngari Dennis Karoki, Ogochi Enok Nyakoe, Okelo Kevin Ochieng, Okwakau J. Peter, Omondi Nancy Adongo, Oruko Nancy Apondi, Washira Jen Wanjiku, Wafula Joan Nabwile, Wakoli Joshua Silali. A lower credit, Bulenywa Simwa Harriet, Chikamai Phyllis Lichuma, Kiplagat Shadrach Kipngetich, Mbira Georgina Watati, Metiaki Lelet Lucy, Mudama Milka Mbisu, Mwangi Efi Wawira, Njuguna Virginia Wamboi, Nyahera Innocent Adamson, Nyamondo Akoth Evelyn, Omoro Sidila Awur, Ouma Christine Akinyi, Sikamao Fabian Leleko, Wafula Angela Nelima, Wanyonyi Nelima Lucy. Guest of honor, sir, may I now present the best three students to represent the class for the award of Diploma in Environmental Management. Chepke Moi Masi. Joydrin Kanana Ndereva. Ndithia Peter Munivia. Having successfully completed their training and satisfied the Board of Examiners during the academic year 2018-2019 by the delegated powers conferred under Section 26.5 of the Technical and Vocational Education and Training Act 2013 and the powers granted under Section 51 and 52 of the Wildlife Conservation and Management Act 2013, I award you a Diploma in Environmental Management. Congratulations. The guest of honor, sir, during the academic year 2018-2019, the following 66 candidates satisfied the Board of Examiners for the award of a Diploma in Wildlife Management of Kenya Wildlife Service Training Institute. Distinction. Adala Heikal Wajiru, Kanyua Sylvia Mwende, Wemboi Daniel Tibet, Chengo Richard Kisilu, Maina Steven Madenge, Muruki Naomi Nyakio, na Masaya Okumu Gilian, Juri Ann Wairimu. Upper credit, Abogo Akoth, Akoth Makrin, Amunga Obanira, Bill Kipchirchir, Bondo Lavin, Jeruyot Hilary, Katambo Magale, Kimtai Kipet, Pitiyo Chemtai, Koinek Sanianka, Leisido Laura, Loisherua Eric, Magoma Otete, Marere Yazil, Maritim Chepkoech, Bingo Boza, Meitoi Nolna, Nolari, Miano Nyambura, Muiriri Wangasha, 
Mutali, Dominic, Mutua, Kyoko, Maniki, Fundi, Ngetich, Jepkeboy, Gina, Kandi, Jeru, Hilda, Iga, Waidera, Ubare, Makoa, Obagi, Mora, Owor, Ocheng, Rai, Nyondo, Semcha, Joel, Sisto, Neymayan, Washira, Jerry, Waome, Ingore, Lower Credit, Ahmed, Wamaida, Chelimo, Gloria, Adawa, Oningo, Iprotich, Kipchumba, Kiptum, Jepkoske, Ipiego, Kipruto, Oba, Achien, Lenanyoike, Collins, Malemba, Wakesho, Mauti, Omoke, Mungaka, Otori, Muturi, Omari, Muloa Nitu, Munene, Eric, Murunga, Nyambura, Joroge, Wamboi, Nyambuto, Maisaba, Obio, Valentine, Ouma, Ochien, Rotich, Renardo, Sironga, Sinitioya, Wasike, Naliaka, Pass, Tonje, Kipchumba. Guest of honor, sir, may I present the best three students to represent the class for the award of Diploma in Wildlife Management. Position one, Stephen Matenge Maina, Eka Wanjiru Adala, and Sylvia Mwende Kanyo. Having successfully completed the training, and satisfied the Board of Examiners during the academic year 2018-2019 by the delegated powers conferred under Section 26.5 of the Technical and Vocational Education and Training Act 2015 and the powers granted under Section 51 and 52 of the Wildlife Conservation and Management Act 2013, I award you a diploma in wildlife management. Congratulations. The guest of honor, sir, during the academic year 2018-2019, the following 82 candidates satisfied the Board of Examiners for the award of a diploma in Tourism and Hospitality Management of the Kenya Wildlife Service Training Institute. Upper credit, Abuya Bili, Akini Laura, Amoit Oskuku, Awiti Beril, Bungei Stella, Shira Ruth, Gaturi Caroline, Gikonyo Faith, Irungu Prudence, Jumba Kameline, Marcela Namamba, Kanja Ben, Hiptum Carol, Makao Nzinza, Manzi Kathri, Mayani Dennis, Moshai Alice, Muruiru Masi, Muteti Jen Faith, Ndegwa Salome, David Kuria, Njuguna Teresia Nyambura, Njuki Prudence, Ondieki Edwin, Ouma Steven, Oyunga Margaret, Melanie Naosha, CTNA Sharon Tipuski, Watai Peter, Yongo Felix, Lower Credit, Analo Valentine, Asiko Metri, Chebet Yvonne, Chemtai Masi, Chepto Ivali, Gatambia Ann, Gomba Lillian, Kaburu Farouk, Kamau Grace, Karani Kevin, Karigidi Wairimu, Kelong Victor, Lucy Wanjiko, Kiptum Notrin, Kibinda Julian, Maina Ann, Maina Emily, Mausha Judith, Mushiri Ann, Mudidi Kasper, Lucy Wanjiku, Mukoya Beatrice, Muli Charity, Mungai Martin, Monyafu Masi, Muriki Miriam, Mwakazi Daniel, Mwangi Tony, Nduati Wini, Jacinta Ndunge, Ngeti Chemutai, Njenga Wamboy, Njuguna Margaret, Njuguna Teresia, Okoth Wini, Oteno Regina, Oteno Zefa, Owino Gerrick, Ruth Nyambura, Ruto Christine, Scholar Jebi Ward, Shane Wairimu, Stace Lois Wanjiru, Susan Amondi, Uhuru Keti, Waititu Njau, Warungi Millicent, Pass, Abenyo Abigail, Irinya Faith, Mutheo Stephanie, Mwangi Abigail, and Nechio Kabani Masi. Guest of honor, sir, may I now present to you the best three students to represent the class for the award of Diploma in Tourism and Hospitality Management. In position one, Masi Wanjiku Mwiruri, 
Stephen Guta Oum and Teresia Nyambranjuguna. Thank you, sir. Having successfully completed the training and satisfied the Board of Examiners during the academic year 2018-2019 by the delegated powers conferred under Section 26.5 of the Technical and Vocational Education and Training Act 2013 and the powers granted under Section 51 and 52 of the Wildlife Conservation Management Act 2013 I award you a diploma in tourism and hospitality management. Congratulations. Thank you. Sir, I should come. But we begin my coffee as One, three, two, four. Again. Asante. Thank you so much. Now you are graduates. You've been given the powers to do all that pertains to what you're doing. Chief guest sir, would wish to recognize some of the guests who have come to help us during this time and attend the graduation. This is all the WRTI board members, Karibu Nisana, all present senior KWS managers, Karibu Nisana, all the immediate four former KWSTI principals whose shoes are so big for some to fit in, for madam to fit in, because they, are, they have very big names. Two are professors, two are doctors, very difficult, Karibu The wildlife advisor to the cabinet secretary, Karibu Sana, all our sponsors who are present, Karibuni, the public health officers who are around trying to see how healthy we are around, Karibuni Sana, and all the, some officials of the alumni feel very welcome. At this juncture, there are two students we would wish to invite to say one word. One of them is a foreigner from Zambia, so we want to hear what she says about Kenya. Uh, guest of honor, sir, all protocol observed, ladies and gentlemen, good morning and good day. It's my great pleasure and great honor to stand before you, and I'm humbled, on behalf of international students, presenting the experience we have had all together here in Christi. I joined this institute in April 2018. The beginning was very challenging, especially that I have no knowledge of the Swahili language, but Kenyans are known for the best hospitality, helped me brain, and within no time, I was able to, to get um, through and have this alignment with this community of Christi or Kenya. Studying here was another challenge. Having been out of school for 13 years, outside my country for the first time, it was not easy, but I succeeded. We worked so hard, we have worked so hard, much as it takes a lot of effort to engage and align ourselves to Christy, family and working hard, disciplined, committed, and loving one another, being each other's keeper. My experience as international student was great. So much exposure to Kenyans' rich wildlife diversity and this heritage, and especially at Quist or KWS in general, which has earned accolades in wildlife management and conservation internationally. Being an international student of Quist, I was spotted by a Kenyan, um, I'm sorry, by international couple in Australia by the name of Henry and Allison. They spotted me while I was here because they knew that Kenya is offering the best education in wildlife management. So this couple cut my school fees or expenses 
airfare, or other fees that were needed to help me go through my education year. And I completed, they are the one who even ushered me to come here and they advised me to fly here and witness this great achievement. I've never seen them face to face. We only communicate through emails. Through this wonderful experience of achievement, I've been able to utilize this knowledge at my Department of National Parks in Zambia for DNPW, where I was able to serve a person within the time that um, we have been going through the challenges of COVID-19. So I served this python that was straight in the community, almost killed, but I rescued it and kept it in my house for 14 days. Until it was released back into the, the world. Again, in the short time, I, I, I had an opportunity to a stray monkey that invaded the community and I had intervened to rescue it from being killed, and I also kept it in my house for five days until it was released back into the world. My experience in Christie within these two years and half that I've been has approved, has approved beyond doubt that it's indeed it offers the best education, especially in my professional of wildlife. It has impacted so much on my personal level and most importantly on a national level in Zambia in the conservation flank. My appreciation goes to the entire Christi fraternity, fellow students, local and international, as well as my government in Zambia and the Department of National Parks and Wildlife. Thank you so much. God bless you. <laughs> Nyumba paka siku 14 Kenya hapa hiyo ni kuwa mchapu <laughs> Na ui musiana si mchawi Yeah, na chunga wildlife Thank you very much Nita I hope you will come back and bring us more students The next student Chief guest is the best student And KWS Chai might, might have to change Because this is also a lady Kenya Sisi tunasavunjwa, hii bunge nasavunjwa Karibu Chepke Moy Masi. This day, I want to thank God for the great care and for making this day come true. I'd also want to, before I make my remarks, I'd also like to thank some few people who have made this journey a success. I want to thank the Quist family the Christie Fraternity and the staff for the, entire, for the endless efforts and the encouragement they have given us through this journey. It was a journey that was tough, it was through thick and thin. We have crossed mountains, we have crossed the valleys, but through their entire efforts, through their entire encouragement, they have made us a success and they have made this day come true. I'd also like to thank my colleagues for the team spirit, for the inspiration, for the encouragement they gave unto me and unto themselves for making this day come true. And I would also, I'd like also to give my great gratitude to my parents. Mom, Dad, I know you are watching virtually. I want to appreciate you for to me from the word go up to now. I know it was your wish, it was your pleasure to attend this graduation, but because of the current situation, I want to give all my gratitude unto you. Secondly, and to make some few remarks. The first day I set my foot on Christie, I saw a very different environment. I saw my dream come true. I used to tell my mom, the first day I set my foot in college, I'll make sure I'll come out of that college a successful lady. And I thank God for making this dream come true. Today, I celebrate you, mom. I celebrate you, dad, for making me achieve. I know it was through your tireless efforts, you have 
you have sacrificed all the, the resources that you had to make me a chief. Secondly, and to thank my fellow colleagues, they saw, they saw a potential in me. I, I really thank them for challenging me. I had a lot of and I had a lot of students who will they come and greet me and say, Masi, we saw, we are seeing a potential in you and we wish you all the best. I'd also like to say that the late Joshua was for, so helpful to me. He really used to encourage me and may his soul rest in peace. That and to say what actually motivated me to work at in Quisti was that basically my form four studies I never went to school. I just went there, registered for four four exams, and I went there to do my exams. And I thank God because he enabled me to attain a grade that I was that was able to bring me to Quisti. And I really had to work hard to prove to myself and to my community that. I can do my best, and I really thank God for that. Thirdly, I like to urge the KWS family to at least offer the graduates job opportunities in some of the parks and even some of the, the institutions they are running. I know there are a lot of graduates who have graduated from Christie, and they are out there trying to look for job opportunities. I really like to ask the institution to at least offer some of, some of the students job opportunities. I also like to tell my colleagues that congratulations, we have made it. A diploma certificate or a certificate is an important tool in this world. Life is also a journey and accomplishment we achieve during this course should be taken as a starting point for the future of our achievement. Today, it marks a different day to us, and it comes as a welcome relief. When I look, up, when I look back at the days, the good days and the bad days, and the experience that we have gained in Quist, I see a bright future in us. Let this be a starting point to the great future opportunities that are awaiting you outside there. To the environmentalists, may you be great environmental students and work towards achieving your goals. Let this not be the end of your studies. I really like to meet most of you back there at the university. I'd also like to wish all the graduates of this day congratulations and God bless you all. Thank you. You can see ladies are able to speak before, and they are still young girls, and they are able to speak. So graduates from here, you are good. Now, I know there's a lot of monotony of speaking, speaking. Chief guest, today it will be boring. It is online, so there's no music, there's nothing, no interlude, but you will forgive us. We are about to finish. We are entering into a level of remarks from people who have done it, they have gone through it. Now I would wish to invite a man who walks ele elephant, he sleeps elephant, he dreams elephant, he dies elephant. And currently he's midwifing something called WRTI. We don't know what that animal is, he might tell us or others will tell us. So we want to invite him to make his remarks and pick from there. The Principal Secretary, State Department of Wildlife, Professor Fred Sigo, Chairperson of the Kenya Wildlife Service Board of Trustees, Madam Betty Maitoyo, the Chairperson of the Wildlife Research and Training Institute Board of Directors, Dr. Winnie Keyu, and the members of the KWS Board of Trustees and the Wildlife Research and Training Board present today. 
representative of the Director General of KWS, a Director of Strategy and Change at Kenya Wildlife Service, uh, that is representing Brigadier uh, Retired John Waweru, Mr. Edwin Wanyoni, former principals of the Institute, led by the elder uh, Professor Witte. I think Witte will be speaking later on. There is Professor Musioki, there is uh, Dr. James Yogu, and uh, the immediate, actually, the owner of the graduating class, uh, Dr. Samuel Kasiki. I uh, recognize you are present. Parents, guardians, and sponsors, wherever you are, our special guest today that are no longer graduates, they are graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Chief Guest Sir, may I take this first opportunity to congratulate our graduates for your graduation and also congratulations for starting to master your own destiny. You know, once you have your uh, diploma and now certificate, the journey begins now. You'll begin to master your own destiny from the time this event ends. Guest of honor, sir, we've been told that uh, we are graduating uh, 332 students out of a student population of uh, 938. This gives us um, a transition rate per cohort, per, per cohort of approximately 50%. Guest of honor, sir, the, the remaining 50% is attributed to delays emanating from the challenges in paying school fees, failure to attend the first mark in some of the subjects, and some school dropouts due to assorted social problems. Just of honor, sir, there was a call for uh, the higher education loan spot to support our students, and we're hoping, guest of honor, that you'll pick this up so that uh, our students can also get the sponsorship from the Higher Education Loan Squad. The guest of honor, we are very optimistic that in 2021, we are going to address these uh, challenges. To graduate 80% during the 19 graduation ceremony in 2021. And we'll actually be looking forward to a 100% transition in the coming years. What that means, we'll try to address those three challenges so that every student that steps in the Kenya Wildlife Service Training Institute graduates and joins the job market. Yes, of honor, sir, the COVID-19 has had uh, impact in various sectors, and this institution has not been an exception. We had to seize learning with the countdown of the COVID-19 in March of this year. In fact, these students ought to have graduated in, in June or thereabouts, but uh, it's never lost. They are graduating today, and uh, they have graduated today, and we are hoping we'll be able to, to start learning, resume learning outside the box, outside the new norms of learning. The other impact, sir, has been a dip in revenue. I checked on the revenue that we got last year between January and September of 2030, this institution was able to raise about 94 million. Because of the impact of COVID, this year 
we've been able to only raise 39 million. That's about 57% reduction in revenue. And this is uh, contributed to zero enrollment of new trainees in this year. We skipped both the April and September intakes in 2020. Um, although a total of 618 students had been ad admitted to join KWSTA, but their reporting was put on hold by the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, the guest of honor, sir, we are hoping that the virtual learning platform that you'll be launching today will give us the pedestal to say to serve the pool of students waiting to join the KWSTI. Our master of ceremony talks about YWRTI, and this is the Wildlife Research and Training Institute. This will be this institute has been established by the Cabinet Secretary, Honorable Naji Balala, as per the Wildlife Act 2019. And the Board of Directors, which you'll be hearing from, had been inaugurated in this place on the 10th of August this year. The Institute will bring the functions of research and training together. And this will address many opportunities that uh, were hitherto uh, there when it comes to issues of training and wildlife under the Kenya Wildlife Service. I am humbled to be serving as the first acting director to the newly established Wildlife Research and Training Institute. And I want to thank very sincerely the Cabinet Secretary for the honor for appointing me in this capacity. The Wildlife Research and Training Institute will present many opportunities in terms of collaborations consultancies, revenue, and uh, already we have a very clear vision. You could see the KWS Training Institute is already a regional institute. We want to become a global center of excellence in wildlife research and training, a case of honor. We are very optimistic. We've been meeting um, internally with uh, the leadership of the Director General of KWS, very supportive of the transition, with the leadership, or under your leadership too, I want to point out uh, Mr. Ali Kaka, the advisor to the minister, and uh, Rastas Kanga, who is the acting wildlife secretary, that uh, is helping us through this transition process. And in fact, we have developed a five-year strategic plan that once we have funding, we'll be subjecting it to stakeholder consultation. This plan, guest of honor, have six strategic focus. The first one is to strengthen coordination and compliance in wildlife research in the country. That has been a major challenge. The conduct of wildlife research has been very uncoordinated and it's not been very useful in helping inform management and conservation of wildlife because there was no one center that hosts data and everybody was having data and creating confusion in the sector. This will be addressed and it will be our first focus to strengthen the coordination and compliance including the issue of research permitting in this country, should be streamlined. The second focus will be to enhance and provide scientific data information. We have scattered data 
on everything, elephant, rhinos, frogs, amphibians, but they are scattered in many different institutions. We want to bring this data together into this new baby in the wildlife sector. Actually, it's the second government institution after the KWS once it is fully operationalized. We want to enhance both national and international partnerships. That's another strategic focus. It's well spelled out with how this will be done. There are many institutions already trying to reach out a, a chief guest. Uh, we have the Indian Institute of Research. We have Institute from Canada. They are waiting for us to start moving. They need partnership so that uh, we could uh, start uh, doing proper research and informing um, uh, conservation and management in this country. We want to develop institution capacity. I think, uh, uh, Chair, the, the Chief Guest, one of the issues that the new institute will establish is to um, create and develop the staff capacity for both uh, the lecturers and for the scientists. It will address stagnation. We've been stagnated for many years. We have had a lot of transition of uh, staff, technical staff, uh, because of less resource, resources availed, and one of the reasons why resources were unlimited, because we are all housed in one unit, and when you are housed in one unit, you focus on what is important, and our focus is to protect what we are supposed to research on, and uh, offer security, that is paramount. If we have a million, that million will go to protecting rhinos and think about research. So, uh, in chief case, we are hoping with this institution, there will be a now available funding to support the infrastructure, support staff development, so that uh, we can move the wildlife and training center, uh, this institution, to a new level. The fifth area of focus will be to develop financial sustainability mechanism. We are going to look at every available options to help us uh, increase revenue. Chief guest in this area, apart from the COVID-19, we've had the impact of rising water levels. In fact, our the, 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 the aquatic science classrooms at the annex, they have been closed uh, because all the classrooms are underwater. And uh, in one of the programs, chief guests, that we are requesting for support, is to see how we address the impact of rising water levels that, that uh, have actually enhanced the problem that we face. And then finally, the next focus will be to enhance training and capacity development. The chief guest, there are a number of uh, key things that we'll be focusing on. Um, and they will be coming to your desk to help move this institution to the next level. The first one, we want to try and link up this campus and the game farm, either through um, an underpass so that animals can cross, and also look at, um, use it as a learning tool when you're studying wildlife management, that will be a practical learning area, and you'll be explained why we need a wildlife underpass. We want to develop the game farm so that it can also be a revenue tool uh, for this institute. I just discovered uh, the two weeks, so I actually reported here, uh, that the wildlife farm do not have water for animals. And one of the things that we'll be requesting your office is to help us improve the habitat for the game farm so that it becomes a learning practical center for these students. There is also a very immediate need to remove all the asbestos roofs um, for obvious health reasons and many others that I know you are aware and you'll be guiding us to ensure that uh, 
as we transition where my colleagues have reached, we are able to transition and improve on one very important uh, thing in management is the work environment where staff uh, work and also the, our students learn. So the Wildlife Research and Training Institute is just waiting to be fully operationalized. Uh, we have the papers, and once done, we have a very clear direction to make this institution a global, a global institute for excellence in training and research. Finally, guest of honor, may I just uh, talk to our graduates that your certificates are not just a piece of paper. It is the wing that will allow you to fly to promising future and guide you to the path of success. I will request you to use that certificate in whatever way. It doesn't need to be in, the, in a formal office with a tie or something. Yeah, I'm, I was very glad to hear our graduate from Zambia because I have many colleagues in Zambia and I'm hoping that interaction will bring that regional cooperation if we bring students, more students, across the region because we want to be a global institute. So congratulations our graduates, be members of the alumni, and this, this institute will be open to you to come even to volunteer. You know, sometimes, like, I have only known one employer uh, since I graduated from university, and it has been Kenya Wildlife Service. I joined Kenya Wildlife Service as a volunteer when I graduated from Moy University in 1991. And some of my colleagues at uh, that time are seated with us here, and they have been who and who. So come walk in and say, even if there's no job, I'll want to volunteer and will allow you in. With this, those many remarks, thank you and thank you for listening. I will now want to invite the representative of the Director General, the Director of Strategy and Change at KWS, uh, Mr. Edwin Wanyonyi, to talk to the panel takers. Thank you so much. If I go through the salutations, uh, please allow me to bring uh, the apologies of uh, the Director General, Kenya Wildlife Service, Brigadier uh, Retired John Waweru, is in his post this morning, and so he would have really loved to be uh, today at this ceremony, mm -hmm. but unfortunately he can't be at that mm -hmm. So our, our chief guest, uh, the Principal Secretary, State Department of Wildlife, uh, Professor mm -hmm. Sego. The acting chair, KWS Board of Trustees, Madam Betty Maitoyo, the chairperson of KW, K, not KW, now I'm used to this KWS, Wildlife Research Training Institute Board, Dr. Winnie Kiyu, uh, together with the board members, the director, WRTI, Dr. Patrick Omondi, the principal of KWSTI, uh, Madam Roslyn Onyoro, Former principals of the Institute, Professor Witi, Professor Msioki, Dr. Njogu, and Dr. Kasiki, graduates, parents, guardians, and sponsors, ladies and gentlemen. I'm reading uh, the Director General's uh, remarks directly, so I will not add any one. It gives me great pleasure to be part of KWSTI 18th graduation ceremony, which is being held during this new normal times. Times of washing hands regularly, sanitizing, social distancing, wearing face masks, online learning, and ensuring that we abide by the Ministry of Health protocols and the Magical Kenya Tourism, Travel, Health, and Safety protocols. Principal Secretary Sam, before I address the core of this occasion, 
who are the graduates, kindly allow me to report that we managed to procure the 62-seater bus for the Institute following your direction during last year's graduation ceremony. This will help ease field discussion, transport problems that have been experienced in the past. Similarly, we were able to avail 1 million Kenya shillings to facilitate the curriculum review process, which is ongoing. In this review, the Institute is considering introducing other courses, including Diploma in Forensic Science, as well as a certificate in tour guiding and operations, among other new market-driven courses. In addition, had it not been for COVID-19, we would have already admitted the cohort of the best certificate graduates to pursue diploma courses under the scholarship program from your ministry. However, this is still on course to be actualized. I'm also happy to report that I have continued to fully support and implement your policy directives to transfer the research and training functions to the newly established Wildlife Research and Training Institute, WRTI, to enable it to operationalize and effective last week following the board, uh, the KWS Board of Trustees approval, I deployed Dr. Patrick Omondi to KWSTI to oversee both training and research functions during the transition with special focus on WRTI operationalization. I am very optimistic that the next graduation will be fully under WRTI. To graduates, some of you probably know exactly what you want to do once you leave here, while others might not be quite sure or are still deciding. To each of you, I say, take heart. As long as you know the general direction you want to head, that is half the battle won. The one bit of advice I want to offer you, no matter what your goal is, no matter how long it will take you to get there, no matter how difficult the road is, never, ever give up. Never, ever let anyone discourage you from attaining your goals. Always remember, when you vibrate positive energy, it vibrates back to you. Principal Secretary, sir, I know you are passionate about conservation and tourism matters driven by the youth. As you are aware, KWS is in the process of recruiting 5,500 youths as community scouts in areas adjacent to national parks. It has been hinted to me that most KWSTI graduates have placed their applications that closed last week. We promise to be very fair with this recruitment process. Lastly, to our graduates, from each one of you, we expect nothing but a character growth with integrity and sincerity. You should endeavor to uphold the truth when the truth, when sometimes the truth is unpopular. Congratulations to you all, and we wish you the very best in your future endeavors. In your future endeavors, you deserve it. Thank you, and God bless you. That is, those are the remarks by the Director General, uh, Kenya Wildlife Service, uh, Brigadier Retired uh, John Woweru. Now, Guest of honor, sir, it's my humble duty to invite the chair of the Wildlife Research Training Institute Board, Dr. Winnie Kiyiru, to make her remarks. Our chief guest representing Cabinet Secretary for Tourism and Wildlife, 
our principal secretary of state department of wildlife professor fred tagor yes, the chairperson uh, board of trustees um kenya wildlife service Ms. betty Maitoyo, representative of the director general edwin wanyoni members of the wildlife research and training institute board present we have here gladys muaka uh, Professor Suleiman and um, Tom Lalampa, maybe I will just ask them to stand and wave because we are a new baby. People may not know who are trying to give it vision. So if the board members of WRTI can just stand and wave, um, thank you very much. So those are the people that will be steering the Institute going forward. I want to also recognize the acting director WLTI, Dr. Patrick Omondi, um, the acting principal of AWSTI, Rosalind Onyuro, um, the parents, the guardians, the sponsors, and most importantly, our special guests, the graduates. It gives me great pleasure to join you all on this very important event in the calendar of KWSTI and, of course, of Kenya Wildlife Service. I wish to thank every one of you for accepting to attend this very extraordinary celebration. Traditionally, this campus would be teeming with graduates and parents and guardians and sponsors, and all of you would be decked in tinsel and different types of decorations, and we would all be congregating here witnessing this educational rite of passage. But uh, in this unusual times, we are now having to do what is a virtual or hybrid graduation. Thank you very much for joining us. I'm sure somewhere in this country there is a member of the KWSTI family sitting around their phone in the Manyata somewhere trying to stream the event live and the family trying to enjoy what would have been a momentous occasion. I'm certain that there are members of this community that are sitting around laptops and smartphones and tablets in their homes. These are unusual times. Let us embrace this challenge and know that a graduation is a graduation, whichever way it happens. Whatever the circumstances, I say, Hongera, congratulations. You have done it, and life must continue, even if we are looking at a new normal. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we all hope that the next graduation will actually be a wildlife research and training institute event because the baby has already been born the uh, institute has been launched as has been explained by our acting director um, we had a fantastic occasion here where our minister uh, or cabinet secretary uh, Najib Balala uh, launched and invited the board to chart the way forward for this new institute. I want to give my special thanks to Honorable uh, Balala for actualizing what was already in the Wildlife Act and required a lot of courage to do in these difficult times where all institutions are struggling, revenues are low. It is difficult to get new babies now, but in his vision and courage, he chose to form this institute and I think it is the right time to do it because we are now going into the deep end at challenging times and I'm sure we'll come out very, very strong. I want to also thank the Principal Secretary, Professor Segor, who has been working really hard in fast-tracking all the different challenges that the board has been putting in front of him, saying we need money, we need to be represented uh, in the budget, we need to move. And Professor Segor has always been welcoming as we pass these challenges to him. So I'm sure that uh, the very effective operationalization committee that has been put together, that has developed strategic plans or draft strategic plans in record time, budgets and other essential documents will not be disappointed because we are enjoying great support from the ministry, great support from KWS, read by the Director General. We, they have given us an energetic and able acting director, Dr. Patrick Omondi, and he is working very closely together with Mr. Edwin Wanyoni, who is 
his counterpart in the steering committee that's trying to make all this happen. For us, as members of the WLTI board, we are ready and willing to provide the policy directions that will give this baby the impetus it needs to go forward. And indeed, we have already performed our first duty, and I wish to thank Professor Suleiman, who stood with the members of the board. The chair, he's the chairperson of the Training and Academic Committee of the WLTI board. And indeed, that uh, committee met and approved the graduating class that has received uh, their certificates and diplom diplomas today. So can you give WLTI a hand clap for having carried out this first duty? Thank you very much. And indeed also approve the launch of the online learning that will, be a, that will be launched today. So I think we can say that we are not babies anymore. We are already starting to work and making sure that the institute, that everything that needs to be done to, or to make this operational is actually going to happen. And now I will address the graduates. I am a mother of a number of graduates. And I know that when you're launched into the world of work, immediately you start looking for opportunities. And there are di different opportunities in government, as you have been told, it's not always easy to get in. You might need to spend some time volunteering. You may even think that government is not a very good employer because everybody tells you you need to go to private sector, that's where the money is. But just look around you, the only people that are being paid during COVID times are government employees. Government, public service jobs are good for you. So do not shy away from looking at the opportunities that are offered all the time by public service. They are good for you. The second thing I'm going to tell you is that we are standing on the verge of an environmental crisis. Wherever you are, if you look around, you will notice that species are dwindling, wildlife is disappearing, environments and habitats are going. You will see that the government is talking about tree planting, rehabilitating and restoring our habitats, looking and protecting after our wildlife, everything from the big five to the smallest creatures. My friends, this is a call to action. Your degree, your, your diploma, your certificate is not something for you to keep at home. This is a call to action. It is your passion that will drive you. If you meet money on the way, it's great. But if your children one day will look back and say, it is because of my father, it's because of my mother, that these trees here stand, this forest where I'm able to collect firewood stands, then you will have done your duty. And that uh, diploma that you have got will be worth the paper that is written on. So I want to ask you, take advantage of opportunities that come your way, but you already have a great opportunity to make your mark, to save the planet, to save the environment, to stop climate change, to do what you can to ensure a future for your children and your children's children. So be your brother's keeper. Be the keeper of this earth that we have been granted by God. May God bless you. May God bless KWSTI and of course WRTI. God bless KWS and the Ministry of Tourism and indeed our beautiful country. This is a call to action. Thank you very much. Uh, chief guest, our next uh, speaker will be the chairperson, the Kenya Wildlife uh, Service Board of Trustees, Madam Betty Maikoyo. Madam, please. Uh, thank you, Dr. Omondi. Our chief guest for today, representative of the cabinet secretary, the principal secretary, State Department of Wildlife, Professor Fred Segosta. Acting um, Director General uh, KWS, represented by Mr. Edwin Wanyoni, Chairperson uh, WRTI, Board of Directors, Dr. Winnie Kiru, our fellow uh, KWS Board uh, members present here. I see Mr. Ali Kaka, please would you stand up and say that? Mr. Ali Kaka. Um, members of the WRTI Board present. Uh, um, Director WRTI, Dr. Patrick Omondi, uh, Principal KWSTI, Rosalind Onyura, former Principals 
of KWSTI, uh, Professor Awiti, uh, Professor Musioki, Dr. I've forgotten your name, <laughs> and Dr. Kasiki, KWS Senior Management, parents, guardians, and sponsors, and the most important people today, our new graduates, uh, ladies and gentlemen of the media, good afternoon. I'm Jambo Wate. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, congratulate our new graduates for this memorable day in your career. It must be a very proud moment for you, your parents, your guardians, and your sponsors. Always remember that chasing a dream requires your efforts and passion, and that hard work is in over, and when you graduate, it's just uh, the beginning to uh, the new battlefields of life. Our chief guest, this graduation marks a milestone in the wildlife sector, coming just after the establishment of the Wildlife Research and Training Institute, WRGI, by the Cabinet Secretary, Honorable Najib Balala, in line with the Wildlife Act 2013. The KWS Board of Trustees is committed to the full operation of the Institute and in its last meeting of 30 September 2020, endorsed the Cabinet Secretary's recommendation uh, that KWSTI becomes the headquarters for uh, our WRTI to serve both training and research functions. These acronyms are very many. Ladies and gentlemen, WRTI will be one of its kind in the region where research and training are housed in the same institution, which brings synergy and complementarity. The core mandate of the institute will be wildlife conservation and management and also produce a pool of graduates from its training wing with day one competence in wildlife conservation and management. The institute will also create a pool of scientists specialized in wildlife research who in collaboration with other local and international scientists will come up with innovation, innovative methods to mitigate the current threats facing wildlife, which include and not limited to habitat loss, fragmentation, economic encroachment, uh, poaching, human wildlife conflict, diseases, climate change, uh, among others. The pool of scientists should also be able to train students using the most recent information and te technological advice. Ladies and gentlemen, the Board of Trustees is committed to, operational, uh, to the operationalization of WRTI and has formed a special ad hoc committee to work with WRTI Board of Directors to ensure a long-term symbiotic relationship between the service and the institute. This committee will expeditiously dispense with requests submitted to it by KWS management with regard to implementation of policy directives issued by the Cabinet Secretary on transfer of functions and resources from KWS to the Institute to ensure the Institute is fully operational. I would also like to uh, take this opportunity to sincerely thank the former KWS TI Academic Board, whose term expired on 30th August 2020, for offering the leadership in preparing these graduates and serving their full term. To the newly established WRTI Training and Academic Board, I wish you well as you take over this mantle. And now finally, uh, to our graduates, our new graduates, uh, the 332 of you from the six African countries, I'd like uh, you to know that I am very proud of you and so is the whole board of Kenya Wildlife Service and all of the staff and uh, management of Kenya Wildlife Service. Uh, about 20 years ago, I was sitting in, you know, one of those seats like you wearing a gown and a cup, uh, very excited and ambitious like you are today. And uh, you know what they say that uh, the youth are the future of this country. Uh, I guess that finally catches up. And now I want to tell you the graduates that the future is now. There is no future that you're going to look uh, up to 10 years, 20 years from now. The future is now. Grab what you have and run with it. I'd like to tell you that um, no one should water down your dream. No one should tell you that your dream is too big or too ambitious. All you need is to focus on your dream. Uh, you need to work consistently. And then in the end, you're going to see uh, the results. And then uh, also, you know, what they say that uh, the world is your oyster. There are so many opportunities out there. Do not shy away from taking them. 
uh, there are so many opportunities. Go take them, run with them, and you're going to be okay. I know that this can be a very challenging time, especially either because of COVID, but also because you know you're young and you, when you go somewhere and you see all these people dressed up and saying all these terminologies that you just learned in school, and they are, you know, that's their work, then you get scared. All you need is uh, for you to wear your confidence and uh, to present yourself in a manner that shows that you've actually been trained and that you're ready to even learn more and contribute to your, not only to your communities, but uh, to your countries. I'm very proud of uh, everyone at KWSTI. And uh, I know that even with WRTI, we are going to do much better, not only to be a regional institute that's recognized, but to be a global institute that's going to be recognized for our research in wildlife and training. So congratulations again, our new graduates, and God bless you all. Yes, and now it's my humble pleasure to welcome our chief guest, um, the representative of the cabinet secretary, our principal secretary, uh, Department of Wildlife, Professor Fred Segor. May we please stand up for him? Karibu. Yeah, thank you very much. Let us be seated. The chairperson, uh, Kenya Wildlife Service, Betty Maitoyo, and the board members, KWS. The chairperson of Wildlife Research and Training Institute, Dr. Winnie Hiru, and the board members of Wildlife Research and Training Institute who are present here. The acting director of Wildlife Research and Training Institute, Dr. Patrick Omondi. The representative of Director General Kenya Wildlife Service, Edwin Wanyonyi, the acting principal of KWSTI, Madam Roslyn Onyuro, and I also want to recognize the presence of all uh, former principals who have been invited to today's function, uh, our distinguished graduates, parents, sponsors, our friends of the Fort Estate, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Um, first, let me use this opportunity to pass best wishes and regards for our Cabinet Secretary, Honorable Najib Balala who would have wished also to be part of today's function, but because of other official activities, he was not able to join us. But he is wishing us well. He is wishing you the best as graduates. In addition, I also want to pass best wishes from our Chief Administrative Secretary in the Ministry of Tourism and Wildlife, Boynette Joseph, who would have also wished to be with us today. But in terms of moral support, indeed, they are also, he's also wishing us the best. To, um, indeed, I want to thank each one of you for attending this function at very unprecedented time. In fact, uh, when speeches were being done, were being made, I was touched with the best students of this institution who are, uh, who are graduated today. The first one being the representative of international student, the student from Zambia. Uh, indeed, when she was speaking, she was mentioning the sponsors, 
the kind of people who assisted her. Similarly, the first student also who spoke here. And um, what comes to our mind is whenever you get an opportunity, when you've been sponsored by a willing person, or you are Canadian, or your parents, it is always good to give our best. Because when you give out your best, indeed, you will not regret because the outcome will be pleasing. The outcome will be there for everybody to see. So uh, today, I was happy because those students who represented the others have done so, and they have demonstrated to the rest of the world that indeed in this country, this institute has come from far, it has done a lot, and uh, ours is to wish the institute all the best. Uh, number two, I know the acting director and the chairperson of Wildlife Research and Training Institute, of course, have mentioned, have met with us concerning what needs to be done uh, so that uh, we move forward to ensure that this sector moves in the right direction. Number two, the issue of also 50% transition rate. This is also a concern, transition rate of 50%. I want to assure the institute and the students in the future that we will look forward to making that transition go from 50 to 100%. It is good for everybody, it's good for the country, it is good for the sector. So having said that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, allow me to read the speech by the Cabinet Secretary for Tourism and Wildlife at this 18th graduation ceremony of the Kenya Wildlife Service, uh, Kenya Wildlife Service Training Institute, which we are, uh, which we are doing on the 6th of October 2020. So it is a great honor today to join you all and to preside over the 18th graduation ceremony of Kenya Wildlife Service Training Institute a premier institution for training top-notch professionals for our tourism and wildlife sectors. This graduation is also the first under the established Wildlife Research and Training Institute. And this has been emphasized by the previous speakers, the chairpersons of KWS and also WRTI. And uh, even from the way speeches have happened today, you will appreciate in our sector that indeed there is parity in terms of gender. And that is the direction we want to take because we believe that opportunities, when they are given to all of us to perform, both male and female, do equally good uh, duties as far as outcomes are concerned. I wish to congratulate the graduating class of 2020 for having successfully completed their courses. I recognize that this has only been possible because of your hard work, because of your resilience, and in addition, because of your commitment to excellence. I am glad to note that this year's graduation has recorded the highest number of graduates at 332 out of a student population of 1,000. And uh, previous, we've also been informed that out of these 332, 319 are Kenyans and 13 are international students. Going forward, we should be graduating more than 500 trainees. And this is the challenge which I'm giving to the Board of Directors of the established Wildlife Research and Training Institute. So that issue of transition getting improved from, from percent to 100 percent is indeed what the new institute now should work on. And I want to assure you that uh, the ministry will give you the support. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm aware that you want to graduate in June this year. 
but due to the COVID-19 pandemic, it was not possible. This pandemic has had far-reaching implications in many sectors of the world's economy, with one of the worst it being tourism and travel and wildlife conservation. We have been forced to embrace new ways of doing things like today's factual graduation, factual learning, and online meetings so as to conform to the new normal. Let us continue to strictly observe all the health and safety protocols to keep this dreaded disease at bay. For you graduates, today marks the end of one phase of your lives and the beginning of another. All of you have either received a certificate or diploma with great excitement and anticipation. Armed with the skills and knowledge you have attained, I know you are eager to tackle the next phase of your lives. For some, you may look at it from business angle. For others, you may look at it from university being the next stop. While some are heading straight to the workforce, I want to congratulate each one of you because you successfully completed that phase one of your of the journey in terms of academics. To this end, allow me to sincerely congratulate the KWSDI fraternity for preparing you well to face the future challenges. My advice to you is simple. Find what you, are, what you love doing. If you have not found it, keep looking until you find it. The beauty of doing something which pleases you is indeed satisfying. And, and so I want to ask you to do exactly that. Ladies and gentlemen, the importance of curriculum-based institutions on conservation education like at, at KWSDI cannot be overemphasized. Technical and vocational education training in institutions in Kenya are enablers of the Big Four agenda. Being one of the DVET institutions, we must ensure that our graduates are well equipped with necessary practical skills compatible with industry needs in the field of tourism, hospitality, wildlife, environment, fisheries, and aquatic science. The Kenyan education system is changing from knowledge-based education to a competency-based education system. I am happy to note that you have fast-tracked your programs to conform to these changes. In fact, I am reliably informed that a competence-based curriculum in wildlife management is ready, while others are a work in progress and staff have been trained on models on modes of delivery. Congesi, congratulations for the staff because you are ahead of others when it comes to uh, the modern way of doing things in terms of competence-based curriculum. Today, I am delighted to be launching e-learning programs for KWSDI after approval by the WRTI Training and Academic Board. These programs will not only plan with existing modes of teaching, but will also enable the working class to further their careers as well as act as a new income stream for the institution. Uh, previously, the director was talking about reduced revenue. In fact, out of what was uh, received last financial year, about 70 million last, that you were able only to get 39 million. And so, uh, we have to be innovative. And one way of being innovative is to see how we can go out of our way so that we offer this e-learning program so that we increase the student number, the students will be learning at their convenience, even if it means after work, or weekends, or in the evening. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, today we are also celebrating the birth of a second government institution in the wildlife sector, the established Wildlife Research and Training Institute, whose mandate will be to be ahead of all research and training 
pertaining to wildlife conservation in the country. They will also build the research and training capacity both nationally and regionally as envisaged in, the, in Section 5 of the Wildlife Act 2013. You realize that it has taken, it took us almost seven years to, for this institute to be established. And indeed, our minister has been very focused on this. We are happy that this has been realized this year. And the rest of the responsibilities is work in progress. So the future of the institute will be bright as we move forward. I am happy to note the support from the Kenya Wildlife Service Management and Board of Trustees that approved the KWSDI transformation to Wildlife Research and Training Institute. I want to appeal to the in constituted act of committees of the boards to fast track the Wildlife Research and Training Institute operationalization process. I urge KWS and WRTI to foster a good working relationship. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, I think when the two chairs were speaking, you could see that they are speaking the same language. Uh, congratulations, the two acting chair of the two boards, because you have demonstrated to us that indeed you are, you are, um, uh, you are uh, meaning well for this institute and also for the service. It is a symbiotic kind of relationship. So I want to ask you to continue operating the way you are until we realize the functionality of this new institute. Remember, you cannot conserve what you don't have, and at the same time, you cannot research and train on what you do not have. Therefore, it is important to focus on mutual collaborative efforts to conserve wildlife for posterity. As a government, we will provide the necessary policy framework and resources for the Research and Training Institute to prosper. I promised to follow up with the National Treasury to ensure that funding for this institute are provided for during this forthcoming supplementary budget process. And indeed, indeed we uh, discussed, we are in constant consultation with the National Treasury and I'm optimistic that uh, this will be realized. Ladies and gentlemen, wildlife conservation in the country has continued to face a lot of challenges from lack of harmonized scientific data on wildlife resources. This has largely impacted negatively on the decision-making process regarding wildlife management in the country. I urge the Board of Directors to nurture conservation through proper research training, and capacity building. As WRTI, we must establish a better and efficient systems of collecting accurate data and monitoring wildlife-related activities in the country. This will enable my ministry and other stakeholders to make sound decisions on conservation. Research activities are expensive. And therefore, WRTI must act fast to collaborate with national and international institutions to develop innovative fundraising methodologies. And of course, for you to realize this, and being an academic, I want to say that uh, you need to be focused. You need to be somebody who loves proposal writing so that you attract fundable resources. For us to achieve this, truly we want this WRTI to be a global center for research and training. So I want to applaud the director because already he has mentioned that the roadmap he has created with the, his officers and also the board so that they are able to indeed, within the five years, be recognized as a global center for research and training in Hawaii. As I conclude my remarks, I take this opportunity to thank all the parents, 
staff and sponsors who have been the, who have seen the graduates through their courses. Further, I wish to sincerely pay special tribute to the government governments of South Sudan, Zambia, Cameroon, and Tanzania for entrusting Kenya Wildlife Service Training Institute to train their citizens. I wish to assure you that my ministry will continue to maintain the reputation and prestige of the country as a leader in wildlife conservation and management in Africa and beyond. The ministry will also strive to nurture the newly created Wildlife Research and Training Institute as a center of excellence in wildlife research and training. I believe that we can always count on the continued support of our partners and other stakeholders in this endeavor. Asante Sana, signed Honorable Najib Balala, Cabinet Secretary for Tourism and Wildlife. Thank you very much and congratulations. And I'm going to take you through the remaining part of the program. Um, for every race that uh, somebody runs or people run, we find that it is not only one person who runs, but uh, there are many people who run. And at the end of the race, there's somebody who gets there before the others, and we call that person the winner or the best performing person in that particular race. So at this particular moment, I would like to invite Mr. James Washira to lead us through the section where we are going to be awarding the best performing trainees. So karibu sana, Mr. Washira. Uh, the guests of Onasa, we would wish to present to you the candidates that performed uh, best in their various courses. I uh, will present the three top candidates. Uh, I'll be reading their names, and with your permission, uh, we would like them to receive uh, the prize, the award. So when I read your name, please come forward, the three of you. I uh, will start from the certificate classes. Uh, so I'll start with the top uh, in the certificate in aquaculture, CIA. Uh, position one is Delphine Juambo Cheni. Uh, with a mean score of 82.58, followed by Diana Jepti Chiru, with a mean score of 79.62, and the, that one is Samuel Ngunju Matenge, with a mean of 74.09. Uh, <laughs> Samuel Ngunju Matenga. Congratulations. Okay. So the next class is Certificate in Community Wildlife Management. Uh, position one is Faith Uyoni Titok with a mean score of 76.11 followed by Billy Kaitet Koronkoro with a mean of 72.76 and number three is Lucy Aluta Lichoti with a mean of 71.48. Let's clap for them as they get their words. Interpretation and to administration. Position one, Billy Kamau Gitau, with a mean of 78.05. Two, Edwin Moigain Juguna, with a mean of 77.81. And the third is Shadra Kip Ngetich, with a mean of 76.55.
Şebrak gibi getir. Şebrak gibi getir. We go to diploma in fisheries and aquatic sciences. Position one is Peter Nyong Gesa Wesonga with a mean of 82.85. Two is Salim Ali Abdallah, a mean of 80.96, and the third is Stephen Onyango Nyanga, with a mean of 78.34. Makofi, Makofi. Diploma in Environmental Management, number one, Tsepke Moy Masi, with a mean of 84.35, followed by Joydrin Kanana Ndereva, with a mean of 78.73, and that is Nditya Peter Monyithia, with a mean of 76.93. Thank you. Diploma in Wildlife Management, position one, Stephen Matenge Maina, mean of 76.64, followed by Hekil Wanjiro Adala, mean of 76.53. That is Sylvia Mwenda Mwende Kanywa with a mean of 75.63. Thank you. Then finally, we have Diploma in Tourism and Hospitality Management. Position 1, Masi Wanjiko Moirori, mean of 71.81, followed by Stephen Nguta Ouma with a mean of 71.01, and number 3 is Teresia Nyambura Njuguna with a mean of 70.32. The next part is the, the gifts for the sponsors that call upon the acting principal uh, to call out the names. Uh, the next phase is a gift from the sponsors. Uh, we value, these are good sponsors, not the other kind of sponsors on the streets. <laughs> <laughs> so they are men of repute and uh, we have good associations with them. So. We will start with the Quisti Alumni Association and uh, we call upon the chairperson, Ms. Grace Waigusha, to come and uh, present her gift and make a few remarks. One or two. Good afternoon. My, my name is Grace Waigusha and I'm an alumni since 2011 and I'm the current KWSA Alumni Chair. Um, we the alumni are very, very happy to be here to rejoice with the graduates. And on behalf of the alumni, I want to say congratulations to all the 332 graduates. Every single one of you, congratulations. You had, your, work had, your, work, your hard work has paid, and now you have graduated. I want to urge you to look for opportunities, implement the ideas that you have in your head. Uh, Volunteer your skills, teach other people, 
further your studies if you can. I personally, I after graduation, I got an opportunity and I was employed by KWS as a customer service. And then I furthered my education. I did my undergraduate and now I'm doing my master's. alumni have ventured into a wide range of fields. Some are employed in the hotel industry, others are employed in the tourism industry, some have opened up their own businesses, some have become rich researchers, others are doing uh, further studies, some have started their own companies, uh, environmental groups, consultancy, and so much more. But the bottom line is that we as the alumni are here to mentor you. So I want to take this opportunity to welcome you to the alumni uh, group. We will mentor you through um, any ideas that you have, and uh, we are there for you. So passing through uh, this institute and graduating is just the next, is, it's just a stepping stone to the next level in this life we call, in this journey we call life. So maintain the focus that you have in life and continue working hard. The best part about life and time is that we have all been given the opportunity to decide what you are going to do in the next minute. You cannot waste your minutes in advance. So we all have that chance to decide what you're going to do in the next minute. So build, spend, spend your time wisely doing things that build you as a person and in your career. And remember, you are a student for a while and now you're an alumni for life. So welcome to the alumni. And I also want to thank the lecturers and the staff and the entire KWSCI management for being part of helping the graduates achieve their goal. We are happy to be part of the WRTI, which is a new thing. And we are looking forward to partnering with the Institute towards achieving their vision and our vision as well. We urge, we urge the management of the, of the institute to revive opportunities for graduating students in KWS in form of employment, um, volunteer opportunities, and internships. So we'd be very happy if KWS accepted internships for, for the students, the graduating students every year. So that is a dream that we are looking forward to. Our chief guest, thank you so much for gracing this occasion and celebrating the achievements of the, of the graduating students. Uh, so as, as, as the alumni, we, are, we want to award the best uh, students in every class. So, and that will be facilitated through the alumni funds and with the school. Thank you. Uh, the next team of uh, sponsors is made up of uh, our former principals. Probably they should also form an alumni. <laughs> and we are going to start with the most immediate, that is Dr. Samuel Kasiki. Uh, we are yet to bid him farewell officially as the KWSTI community. But uh, all the same, welcome. We appreciate that you found time to come. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Acting Principal. Our uh, Chief Guest, the Chair of the AWS Board of Trustees, the Chair of the uh, Research Institute uh, of Board, Board Members Present, all Protocols of Time. Uh, I'm not going to make a speech because speeches have been closed, so I will be very brief. Uh, during my time here, which I think was the best in my life because I was given an opportunity to mentor young people, I think it was the best part of my career. I promised to award some of the best performers. Uh, a dream does not become a reality through magic, as all of you know. It takes sweat, determination, and hard work. And a number of uh, a, a trainee, a number of trainees work, uh, worked so hard that they have achieved what they thought was a magic. So for today, I'm going to award, the, I, I looked at the balance. There are people who are more, uh, I don't know what to call the 
to sponsor our supporters, Jonah Olympia was one person who did seem to have uh, gotten anything, and I thought I should do something for him. And his name is uh, Peter Nogesa Wesonga, who was the best training in technical and aquatic sciences. So I'm going to give him 10,000 shillings. And since I don't want to be an agent of coronavirus, I'll send it to him electronically. Now. But he needs his, his, his number. So I think, as has been said, this is just the beginning of self development. I think I don't want to see what has been said. And the future is bright. Self motivation will see you achieve a lot more. I think those few remarks, I think I've given opportunity to my colleagues. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. The next in line is Dr. Jogu. Welcome, sir. Uh, Chief Guest, uh, Professor Sigo, uh, Principal Secretary, State Department of Wildlife. And uh, all guests, I acknowledge you. I don't want to use the term protocol observed. Uh, where I work, sometimes we are discouraged from using that. So really, it's a great pleasure to be here and to see the progress that uh, has been made and uh, indeed, we think about forming the alumni of principles. We are quite a number, and you shall join us. And Professor Witt, you can be our chairman. <laughs> so next time, you shall be the one presenting the gift here. I think I also want to really congratulate, uh, since the graduation, uh, the 17th, uh, 17th uh, graduation ceremony, wonderful happened. We were promised a lot, and we are very visible. Uh, the, the chair of uh, WRI, T. this is really wonderful. Uh, indeed, um, training and research are intertwined, which means, therefore, the students shall be involved in research, and they will become even sharper. This is a very monumental change that we dreamt, and I think it is the way to go. Now, I want to gift a student. I don't know this student, or I know the student, but we discuss about the gift with the acting principal and uh, the area of the student, that is diploma in tourism and hospitality management. Just like my predecessors, I want to give 10K, mine is in cash, to Mase Wanjiro Moirore. She was the best student. And uh, really hard work pays. Let us keep working hard. And uh, remember the anthem. I think that anthem was sung first in the 17th graduation ceremony. And I still honor the student who came to me and told me that he won't write an anthem. That is Leonidas uh, Nawapaka. I, I hope I pronounce that name. He came from uh, uh, Uganda. And uh, he's... Uh, in a certain community, the Catholic community, where another brother was the best honored in terms of education by UNESCO, uh, where I'm also working. Uh, so really, uh, remember that on them, all of you, wherever you are watching YouTube, uh, it is uh, very useful. Uh, go out there and conquer yourself. I summarize that because the guests have spoken uh, and encouraged the students, uh, and therefore, you go out there and conquer yourself to achieve the best. So, after 10K, Thank you very much, and thank you, sir, for giving me the opportunity. Thank you, Dr. Njogo. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Rosalind Onyuro, our chief guest, the representative of the cabinet secretary, the Ministry of Tourism and Wildlife, Professor Fred Sigor, uh, chairs of the two boards, members of the two boards, uh, my colleague, former principals of this training institute, distinguished guests, uh, graduates, 
uh, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed a very big honor for me to be here uh, this afternoon to witness uh, the graduation of these young minds. I remember I joined the club of the former principals in 2018, and it was always a very momentous occasion to stand and usher new brains into the job market. So today, once again, we feel very happy and we are very proud of these young minds that are now moving into the markets to basically practice uh, what they've been taught in this training institute. And I only have three things to say. One, be the best in what you're doing. Make sure what you do today is better than what you did yesterday. Make sure your tomorrow is going to be better than today. And that's being innovative. Because the school has given you uh, what it can, it's done its best, so it's your opportunity now to demonstrate to the institute that indeed the skills that you have acquired, the competencies that you have developed, are going to be useful to you and your country. Secondly, become the best in what you have trained. Be a master of your art. You came here for a reason. You have demonstrated that you are indeed capable. And therefore, the next thing that you need to do now is to strive and become the best in what you're doing. The best that this world can have. Finally, be very ethical. Remember those basic principles we were taught in Sunday school, in Madrasa. The difference between what is good and what is bad. The difference between right and wrong. So as you get into the market, make sure that those three principles are going to guide you. And so from last year, from the last graduation, I made a pledge that I'll be awarding the best uh, female student in Diploma in Wildlife Management. So last year was the first award that I gave. And so this year, I'm also doing the same. And I'll try to continue doing it uh, in the coming years. So this year, the best female graduate in Diploma in Wildlife Management is Hekel Wanjiro Adala, is it? Yes. Right. So please uh, step forward. I have a souvenir uh, for this uh, graduand, uh, which I'm going to present to her. She may want to show you what it is. It is fully sanitized, so you don't have to worry. And I understand we don't shake hands nowadays. But we bow like the Japanese do. Okay? And I also have, you want to show them what it is? There we are. And I also have 10,000 shillings. In cash for a job well done. Thank you very much and congratulations. Santi. Thank you, sir. Last but not least, we have Professor George Owiti. Welcome, sir. Good afternoon, everybody. The, 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 the guest of honor, sir, Professor Sego, the Vice Chair of the Board of Trustees of KWS. Madam Betty, Mama Yo, Mama Yo, Yo, Matoyo, Matoyo, <laughs> sorry, Matoyo, my apologies. The acting chair of the WRTI, Dr. Winnie Kairu. Kairu is my neighbor. Uh, the, the director 
of the, the, the acting director of WRT, Dr. Omondi, the members of the WRTI, one of them, Professor Suleiman, actually, we finished vet, vet school together in, in 1979. So I'm sure most of you were not born by then. My fellow principals, the chief advisor to the minister for wildlife, Mr. Ali Kaka, the other board members, the acting principal, dear colleagues from KWS, former colleagues, and uh, the, 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 the students. I want to say that it, it gives me a great honor to, to be here, having done the first graduation in 202. So we are now doing the 18th. And um, I'm very, very excited and happy to see that uh, the Institute has continued to grow. When I first came here, we had 26 students. And uh, th th that was in 201. And over the years, the numbers have gone up. The facility has gone up. The solidness of the Institute has improved. And I can see now we are going higher and higher. And I know with uh, the current CS, who is a go-getter, and the team that he has put together to bring up the WRTI, I believe that the sky has got and I know from the background that KWST has had, we are set for the sky. I also want to amplify what my other speakers have said before, that uh, I kindly would like to request the ministry, Bonapias. I know that the lady who stood here, Grace Waiguchu, was one of the first students who was employed by KWS. We'd like you to encourage that, because that brings in the numbers. When, when people know they at least have a chance to get employment in the future, they'll bring their, 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 their children here, and so on and so forth. So I'd like to encourage KWS to try and give some one or two students, because I remember Grace was one of the top students. I think uh, she got one of the first distinctions during the group of 2011. Now, before I, during my last graduation in 2015, I promised that I'll be giving an award to the best students, both academically and in discipline. I believe that uh, over the years, this has continued. This is my sixth year of giving the prize. And I promised uh, Professor Msioki then, who was the principal when I came in 2018, that I'll do it for seven years because I was here for, for 14 years. So I'll do half, <laughs> unless otherwise. So today, for the, for the top student, I believe I'm told she was, uh, let me check her name. I'm told uh, she's called uh, Masi Chepkemoi, the best KWST best overall trainee in academics and discipline. I've got a, what we call a magic mark, a magic mark, which is something like this. When you put in hot water, this is what comes out. It shows what you are, who you are, and what you have received. So, Madam Mercy, here you are. For so the being the best, is, is, is that mark? And I'll give you this also to go with it. And on top of that, I'm going to give you cash. And the cash is here. So, see, check it's there. <laughs> Just check. Yeah, this is 25,000 shillings. Because so, I know what KWS TI did for me and KWS, and I would like to continue helping the students who have done well, who have excelled in their, in, in their academic work, and also in, 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 in discipline. So go and do something with it. Give some to your parents. The rest you can invest. God bless you.
And thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, may I mention that I have the privilege of serving as the deputy to all these four <laughs> former principals. They have cooked me well. Thank you. Now, the spirit of uh, gifting is uh, moving around. And uh, the chair of the KWS Board of Trustees, uh, Ms. Betty Maitoyo, has a gift to welcome, madam. Thank you. Thank you, madam principal. Um, you've been a deputy to very uh, amazing men. Uh, I hope that this time they can give the lady to be the uh, real principal of the institute. Uh, because we've seen the men have done a good job. I'm sure the lady is going to do a better job. <laughs> Our chief guest, um, for the uh, short time that uh, we've been together, you know that I'm a proponent for women um, to not only speak for them, but also to make sure that uh, we continue to be as many. And I'm very happy today because we are many. In many cases, I always find myself alone. So um, today I'd like to, I just picked someone from uh, this, from this. This is my second graduation and my first as the acting chair for the uh, board of trustees. And I thought it would be a good gesture to just show that we also appreciate our graduates, our young uh, men and women. And I picked uh, this lady because, um, it, not necessarily because of her name, but because I know what it would mean for her community to see that she has done a good job of completing school. She's probably a role model, I don't know, but I'm just, I'm just guessing. So I'd like to give a gift of 5,000 shillings, which will be sent through Mpesa. Where is Isabel? Oh, yes. Good. <laughs> Please come and be my witness <laughs> that we are going to send 5,000 shillings to the lady with a distinction in certificate in community wildlife management, and her name is Titok Faith Kuyoni. I don't know. I would like for her to um, get a gift and also I'm sure she's a role model in her community to encourage more young women like herself because uh, probably I am her role model in a way so that she can also be a role model to uh, other young women in her community. Thank you very much, madam. And finally, I wish to recognize the general manager of Enoshipai Spa and Lodge, Mr. Peter Munyendo. Wave to the crowd. Hi. And what he reports is that they are doing quite well. I want to believe the door is still open for us because what you have has given you good service. Thank you very much for that. And I come to a close. Uh, it's my honor now to invite uh, the acting director, WRTI, to present gifts to our guests. It's an environmentally friendly pen, not very cheap pen. Okay. Yeah, so I know you like it. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Continue standing, yes. This is to you, sir. Thank you for gracing this occasion. This is for the, the, the chairperson for KWS, the Board of Trustees, Madam Betty Maitoyo. Thank you for coming, Madam. Thank you so much. And this is for uh, the Director General. And it's written Brigadier Awaweru. <laughs> Edwin makes why it reaches there. <laughs> Thank you, Edwin, for gracing us. Thank you. Then the next one is for the chair for the Wildlife Research and Training Institute, Dr. Winnie Kiiru. Thank you so much. Um, um, in the next 
graduation in 2021, everybody sitting here will get a gift. <laughs> and many more. Thank you so much and God bless you. Now, before we, we close the congregation, we'll want to the chief guest to launch our e-learning. Again, this was the, uh, the directive given by the cabinet secretary. Indeed, uh, as a minister, we are very, very happy that uh, this program has started online because it will demonstrate that indeed uh, we are able to study online, not necessarily physically. And, 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 and we use the shortest time possible so that we achieve a lot in terms of education. So I, I want to thank the students who have registered on this online learning. And uh, as a ministry, we are happy that it has started. I want to congratulate you for participating in it. I want to congratulate the lecturers for work well done. And we will give you uh, support which you require. And I'm happy that you are among the first TFED institutions to start this process. So, Pongese Sana, we wish you all the best. May you become our very good ambassadors so that we enable knowledge in wildlife conservation and other causes to continue in this country. So, Pongese Tena, and I wish you all the best. Thank you for that brief uh, speech to our students. I believe they are now happy to be the first ones to take us through this platform or to uh, enjoy this platform and also to get to video from you. Thank you so much, sir. Can you try and teach? <laughs> Nelson, try and teach. Yeah. Oh, okay, sir. If, if you are ready to teach, I'll introduce you to the students. <laughs> you yourself uh, teach, teach. Can <laughs> okay, so I continue? Yes. yes. Continue. Uh, students, today in this uh, lesson, in our module Environmental Laws, Policies and Conventions, we are privileged to have a guest lecturer who is a member of the executive arm of the Kenyan government, and uh, he'll talk to us brief briefly on uh, a topic of his own choice in relation to what we are learning. Welcome, sir. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Nelson Oteno, for inviting me. Uh, of course, uh, it is always a privilege for me to teach. I've uh, taught for well over 20 years. And whenever an opportunity arises like this, it's always a privilege for me to be part of this. And uh, as you have said, what you have uh, in today's lesson is types of laws in Kenya. And um, the first two laws we have in Kenya are divided into two major groups, public and private and civil law. Uh, the first one, which is public law, talks about theory of governing relationship between individuals, where individuals for this case refers to citizens, uh, companies, and also how they interact with the state. Uh, this group of laws has three branches. The first one is constitutional laws. In constitutional laws, it regulates the functioning of government and the relationship between individual persons and the government. In other words, when we are talking about this, the first. Okay, okay. 
That's fine. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me. Yeah, so, so. Yes, yeah. So I, I was talking about the first two. The first one is administrative laws, uh, which refers to the body of law which regulates uh, bureaucratic manag managerial procedures and uh, defines the powers of administrative agencies. Uh, these laws are enforced by executive branch of government rather than the judicial or legislative branches. And uh, the way you are aware, we have three arms of the government, which is defined uh, on this. The second one is criminal laws. This branch of laws is concerned with suppression of behavior that disturbs peace of the public. And whenever somebody commits a criminal law against the state, then the, uh, the laws will be applied accordingly. So I want to wish you all the best you. as you continue studying the, the other topics. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God calls us for caring the creation through knowledge that